Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we made Ogbono soup with Okazi leaf and some periwinkle. Have you ever tried using periwinkle to make your Ogbono soup or Okazi leaf? Guys, trust me, this soup came out so delicious and we added a little okra for sliminess and the soup came out so fantastic. You would love to try this guys, trust me. Let's get right into the video. Here I have my pan so I can toast my I'm going to add some oil to my clean pot. I'm going to add my locust beans. Let's to break it in. It's going to be melting, don't worry about it. You can blend it into your pepper, your fresh pepper and so on. Add your oven up. We are using the toasting method, okay? So all you want to do is to mix it until it is well combined. Mix your oven until it is well combined. This is going to be going straight into the pot of all of my protein is in the pot. It's going to be going into the pot straight away. My meats are all ready. Okay, let me show you the pot now. So I'm going to add my fish, I'm going to add all of this assorted meat, I'm going to add my beef. Once your proteins are ready, you can go in with every other thing. I'm going to go in with a little oil, that's optional. You can choose to add extra oil, you can choose not to, okay? So I'm going to go in with some of my uzuza seed and all my blended peppers. Guys, I'm going to add my blended onion. My blended crayfish, all of these are my blended crayfish. I'm going to be doing a voiceover. You can go in with your obono. So if you're a working mom, I'll always advise you to get your protein ready ahead of time. That way to make your cooking very easy. Yes, I cooked down my chicken. I'm using hen in this soup recipe. So I went ahead to cook it down with the stockfish. I added my beef. I added my beef tribe and cow feet and all of those good stuffs. So just stir it all together, cover it up and let everything cook until it is well combined. Taste and see if you need to put any seasoning right now or allow it to cook. Mmm, it tastes fantastic. I'll close it and allow it to cook nicely. So guys, I did not intend adding okra. This is just supposed to be a bono soup, but it's not giving me what I want. It's not showing me any means that it will draw, and I'm not about to eat a bono that is not drawing. I'm going to help it with okra. If you want to help your bono, you can go in with okra, just like so. And then you will have some draw. So the okra will help you get a very good sliminess. It will add sliminess to this obono soup, okay? So you can see how I did it. I blended it so smooth. That way, it will help this uh, obono to draw. That's the reason we added the okra. Can you see? And you see the sliminess is coming a little bit. You know, you want to eat obono and see it drawing. Not eating obono and it's not drawing. For me, it's, it's somehow. But yeah, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, you see, that's what we want to achieve here. That's awesome. Yeah, so this is it. They requested that I make a delicious obono, only obono, and you know, you know how it is with some obono. People just, I just ordered all of these items, not quite long. I just ordered for this obono, not quite long, but look at. I ordered for a lot of food stuffs. I will be showing you the video soon. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. At least when it's sliminess. Let's taste for the seasoning. Mm -mm -mm. It still tastes good, guys. Mm, this is good. Mm, guys, mm -mm -mm. this is good. 
Mmm. 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 I'll show you the other things I'll be adding. Look what we have here. <laughs> we are adding periwinkle to this delicious abundance soup. God bless my brothers and sisters. My elder sister got me all of this and I still have it. I see it's still very fresh. God bless my elder sister and my brothers. They are always shopping for me. Everything they brought for me was always good. I'm going to go in with some Uziza leaves. We are using Uziza leaves here and some Okazi table, which is my bitter leaf. This is fresh bitter leaf, guys. I just brought it out from my garden. Washed it out a little bit because I want that bitterness in it. So this is it. Oh, but I don't need too much vegetables. I'll close it up. Do not stir it at this point, otherwise your soup will be very, very bitter. That is if you're using bitter leaves. So just leave it like this and let it simmer. La la. This is our Obono soup. Ooh, Gucci did it. Gucci did it. I got the drawing Obono soup. I used three leaves in this soup recipe. Uziza leaf, okazi leaf, and I added some little bitter leaf because I want some bitter taste. Ogbono soup, you must have some little bitter taste. So here we are dishing it out because we are going to be sending this soup to the client that ordered for this soup. You all, this soup came out so delicious. Like I will always tell you, crayfish, grounded crayfish, grounded fish, all of this makes a difference in any soup you are making. This is one of the secrets and tips I'm going to be giving you. Please take it. If you, ha if you have fish, mangala fish, catfish, just grind it into your crayfish. Make this soup. Oh my goodness. Your soup will always come out tasting very different. Tasting very unique. There wasn't so much pepper in this soup, but the taste of the crayfish was just all over it. And the uzuza leaf, the okazi leaf, the periwinkle, it came out so delicious. I hope you have found this video interesting. You guys, so we are making fufu for our soup. This is the other pot. This is one pot. This is another pot of fufu. See your girl working hard. In that kitchen, I'm going to show you what we are going to be doing today. Look at that fufu. Mm. I'm going to add some water just for it to be simmering. Yeah. While I will go and wrap the other fufu. Another thing that makes a difference in your soup is the stock fish, the dried fish, and how you season your protein. I hope you have loved this video and you have learned one or two in this video. Please give this video a massive thumbs up. Thank you and God bless you. Gucci team, be loving, be kind, be merciful. God loves the merciful heart. See you in my next video. Ciao, ciao.